Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, <laughs> Woo! That last run was not scary at all. Don't pick the lost. We're on Eden. This is a big one. They're all big ones. We didn't start with super low HP. We got triple shot? No, we got uh, an inner eye and Hierophant card. Oh, sorry, Spoonbender, Book of Secrets. That's what I meant by inner eye. S73Q0DCS. Why did I use Book of Secrets? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter that much that I used it because we weren't going to be able to use it anyway. Oh my god, our rate of fire is so huge. But we do have Curse of the Lost. Um, so high, I suppose. You know when Tal Bachman... Sorry, Tal Bachman wrote uh, the song, She's So High? It was actually about um, his rate of fire. It was, it's so high, 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 high for Eden. It's so sweet and she's so high. It was all about his rate of fire. Most people don't realize that. Because it's a fact that I made up right now. And also, most people don't spend too much time thinking about Tal Bachman's magnum opus from 1998 anymore. Had to think about when that actually came out. I am, I am, I am, I am, 99, 2000 song, now I think about it. 98's a little too early. That was still like Spice World. We didn't get into the, uh, the rock music all that much back then. Please explode. Thank you. Um, yeah, that was a great position for you to be in. Oh, that's fine. I don't really want to do boss rush on this run anyway. Oh, if you'll excuse me. Pardon me? Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna wait for you to get, like, as far out as you can go. I'm gonna choose to stay out of the way. You think I can kill him now? I wonder if I hit him from the other side. I'm gonna hit him from the back to the melody of lo Roll It Slow, but now I gotta get up in it fast, but I'm a finish last, because no matter how much of a thug you see, I still spit it like it's R&B, come, come to the club with me, and when some loser come on, I hope you still gonna be feeling me and be in love with me. Uh, she said she wants some Marvin Gaye, some Luther Vandross, a little Anita would definitely set this party off right. She said she wants some Ready for the World, some New Edition, some Manny Ripperton would definitely set this party off right. Darling, rock another slow jam and all the lovers need to hold hands and if you ain't got no man, hop up in my bro ham. I keep pimping like an old man. You got to roll with the plank because if you don't then I'll be... I forget the rest. That was uh, pretty good for off the top of the dome piece. I gotta say, though, okay, um, this room I'm having a, a lovely time with, so if we could just maybe, I'm trying to push him in the opposite direction, yes, yeah, okay, this is good, we got him, we got him on the ropes, holy crap, that was a lot of fun, I had a good time there, I would say that we can probably say goodbye to Boss Rush, because that's approximately one floor's worth of time that we spent killing that one fucking Kwai, still, good stuff, uh, this is, uh, this is a really good Eden start. I'm really happy with our rate of fire. Spoonbender is the element of synergies that we oftentimes miss. You know, we're always like, whoa, it would be really great if we got Spoonbender with this. So as far as I'm concerned, we've done the hard part for getting a good synergy already. All we need to do is get the, the other half of the synergy, and there's many, many halves for it out there. So I think we're uh, in a great position. We also started with good HP, and the Hierophant card was um, something that benefited us there, obviously. We started with okay HP, and the Hierophant card took it to the next level. I'm not even going to complain about that fly, because honestly, I don't care, as long as our HP is good. Did you see the bullshit that we had to deal with on the last uh, run? The the bullshit that I forced myself to deal with on the last run? This is like a, a freaking uh, cakewalk after that nonsense. Sincerely, I, I actually, um, as soon as I beat the run, it was kind of hilarious. My hands were straight up shaking, but I walked into like my wife's office, which is just across the apartment here. We live in a pretty small place, we're just lucky that it has two offices in it. And, um... I was like, I beat the most crazy Isaac run of all time, and I told her about it, and she was like, I appreciate it, because she was feigning interest, but she's like, wow, that's pretty amazing. And I'm like, well, just you wait till you see it. You might not appreciate it now, and I understand that, you know, if you came and told me about your Isaac run, I'd be like, yeah, that's a wild story, but I might not really appreciate it. You'll appreciate it when you see it. That last run, not that I didn't make mistakes in it. There were, <laughs> I made mistakes in that run. Mistakes were made. Try to get a bomb out of it so we can get this tinted rock. But it was... The the redemption moment was so strong that it was like I was in an old fucking sports movie, you know? I was the kid who had everything and threw it away for, you know, a crippling Coca-Cola addiction. And then I came back and helped the team win the championship in the final round. It was so good. This is a huge floor. I would really like to see, like, Black Candle in there. I don't think we got to donate much to our donation machine last time, so, eh, it's okay. I would like to see, uh, the, the black candle, but I would also like to donate a lot to our donation machine. And you know what, I think now's a, 
really good time to do that. <laughs> I'm going to buy the key. I still want to have a chance at the uh, arcade on the next floor, but I want to keep a key as well. We could have bought the Spirit Heart, but let's be honest, our Spirit Heart game is looking pretty solid right now. Oh, I'm going to have Slow Jam stuck in my head the whole time. It's a great song for an analysis, though. I mean, okay, how does it start with... Um, give me a second. What is it? Bring some friends you cool with. And then, oh, I said come over to my new crib. You can drive your new whip. Oh, I used to know this. See you is my new trick so we get our grind on. Calling me a uh, word I can't say. Wait, no. Calling me Biggie? Why, okay, you know what? I can't do this. I don't have the talent. I'm not... <laughs> Damn, baby, I can't analyze this song, but I know someone who can. Twister! Got you looking at the glist of my... Okay, yeah. Let's just stop with that. If you don't know, the, Slow Jams is the song that, if you think Kanye West is an asshole, it, Slow Jams irredeemably redeems him. That doesn't make any sense. If you think Kanye West is an asshole and he's irredeemable, Slow Jams is the song that still redeems him. I'm a, a unabashed, as I've said many times, Kanye West fan. I think he's arrogant. I don't really care. You know, he's an artist and I like his art. Book of Secrets didn't help out all that much there, but that's okay. Um, but I can understand if that if that makes his work distasteful in your mind. But Slow Jams is so good, man! It's it's the quintessential Slow Jams. It's a song about Slow Jams that is also a Slow Jam. It was part of the early redemption arc for Jamie Foxx when people were like, Oh, he's just a comic actor. Then you got Slow Jams and Ray coming out in the same year. It's a great story. Scorpio, by the way. Uh, a half-decent pickup. Not super... Thrilled. I mean, I am pretty okay with it. It's just not totally thrilled, I suppose, but it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Let's start preparing, because we do have a guaranteed deal with the devil on this floor. It's a little cocky, but I would say it's guaranteed right now. Um, we'll go to our shop. Let's see if we can get to our boss room first. We'll be able to take anything that costs one red heart, uh, or two red hearts for that matter. Uh, I've long stopped trying to predict the first floor deal with the devil. I hope. All we need to do is... I mean, I guess to be honest with you, what I'm trying to say is that I won't be picky. And I'm not saying it in a very effective way, but so often we found ourselves getting like a Krampus fight on this floor or triple red chests that don't allow us to get deal with the devil precedent and don't give us good items. And it's just like, you know, just, just work with me a little bit here. If you give me an item, it doesn't have to be a great item, but it, it would help and we'll be good. Give me a screw. It's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. And this is a perfect first floor item. With 1 HP, I appreciate that a great deal. We're not uh, set in stone that we're going to win or anything like that, but it's a nice damage increase. It's a very positive way to start things here. We will, uh, unfortunately, blow up our donation machine, even though we can't donate it to it anymore. So we got to be a little careful, because we definitely do not want to, like, uh, completely screw over our donation machine for the future. But Mom's Key is a worthy pickup. Uh, I'll try for Secret Rooms. And we do have a double key room. We only have one bomb. Okay, so we'll go into our double key room. Maybe it wants to reroll our whole shit. Uh, I'd rather it didn't, but it could be a five room. That would be nice as well. It's none of these, but it's definitely worth two bombs. Uh, yeah, or sorry, two keys. We got a speed upgrade, a bomb, a key, a spirit heart, a lover's card. Was there a battery? No, there was definitely not. It, this was a very good situation. There is a... Tinted Rock available back there. We only have one bomb. Mom's Pearl, decent trinket. D-E-S-C-E-N-T-K. Decent. Emperor card. Much better than the lovers for us, for sure. Um, we're not crazy slow anymore, but it certainly could be better. We don't have the map. I was like, oh, this is the end of the line for us here, but it might not be. I think this should be our secret room. No, it's going to be the other one. I forgot that we hadn't checked that yet because we didn't have any bombs back then. That's okay. Eight cents. Uh, we'll just head down to the next floor. I don't think there's much interest in me getting a spirit heart here. We're already sitting pretty pretty at nine here. Emperor card. I mean, there's something to be said about using it on the next floor, but I probably won't. Actually, that's not true. I probably will if there's a curse room available, which there is right away. So, you know, we got no rerolls to worry about or anything like that. Mmm. I'm going to take the hit. <laughs> Was it worth it? Probably not, but I took the hit there to make that work, and now we can save half a spirit off for getting out of here. Or by getting out of here, I should say. So we're hoping, uh, hoping for a good deal with the devil here. I guess as long as we always put ourselves behind punching bag, we should be pretty safe. 
We did get a deal with the devil. We've got one guppy item. We got a lot of spirit hearts. How deep is our love here, though? We got one extra spirit heart back. I'll take sacrificial dagger here. Curse of the Unknown scares me. It titillates me. It excites me in all the right and all the wrong ways. And who's to say what's wrong and right in this mixed up world today? So I'm, I'm feeling pretty comfortable about our HP. Let's be reasonable. We had maybe eight, and I would expect to be at maybe four now, maybe five as a result of that one. Pandora's box on this floor is really good. I'm so sorry, donation machine. This this is looking like a run where you're gonna get a little beaten up. But if we can snag some HP or an extra damage upgrade, it's really worthwhile. Speed upgrade is not the worst thing in the world. I would love Pandora's box uh, and the spirit heart. So if we can get up to 12 cents, I would I would like to. We don't have any HP, so we don't need to worry about getting a um, about getting an arcade on the next floor. It's looking pr pretty okay. Our damage is great. I, I can't deny that for a second. Like, we've gotten such good damage upgrades super early on. Extra key is helpful. Uh, Scorpio is, like, it looks the biggest amongst them because it changes our tier color, but really it's all about that, that mark pickup and small rock as well. Dead Onion is not a damage upgrade. It is a shot speed downgrade, which I actually think might be a small benefit with, um, with homing tiers because it gives the tiers more time to home. But it is also... That's not very smart. It is also piercing shots. So piercing shots are going to be amazing for us. Such a good item. And we're very, very close to having some some really cool uh, homing tier synergies. Let's stop hemorrhaging so much stupid damage. If we can just avoid that on this floor, I'll feel a lot better about things. Okay. Secret room? Probably secret room right here. Strong tendency for it to border the... Uh, Curse Room. So we could have saved a Spirit Heart, but, I, you know, are you displeased with the way this floor went down? I would have liked to have taken a little less damage, but we did get Guppy's Collar, Sacrificial Dagger, um, Blood Clot, Dead Onion, uh, I think that's it. Pandora's Box, which gave us another speed upgrade. But, uh, I, I'm not displeased with this. I think it worked out relatively well, all things considered. What's more important, Pandora's Box, or sorry, well, that's that train has sailed. What's more important, um... Spirit Heart or Mom's Purse. Really is, I think, the Spirit Heart. But Mom's Purse could be if we get a much better, like, Spirit Heart-esque trinket in the meantime. So there's our Spirit Heart. Actually, there's Mom's Purse, and we're probably one explosion away from the Spirit Heart, so I might as well get them both. I hate to do it, because it's... I'm really, really not being kind to our donation machine right now, but it gives us such a greater chance of success. That's not a good payout. It worked. <laughs> it was kind of close, but that's okay. Alrighty. Let's head down to the next floor. A little scared. That's okay. HP is still pretty good. We have seven. We wouldn't expect to get a deal with the devil on this floor anyway. Could you blow up uh, this situation over here, please? I mean, I get that it's a little bit of a tall ask, asking you to blow up a whole situation. I mean, could've, should've boiled that problem down to a little bit of a smaller size, like, can you just blow up this mushroom for me over here? But, I, I handle things in the abstract, so, um, that's, that's my preferred modularity or modality there. Got a tinted, not a tinted rock, we got our boss room so close. Close! Tinted rock, boss room, pretty similar, all things considered. Not good damage, but it's not going to affect our chances of a, uh, of a deal with the devil. Not meaningfully, at least, unless we die, will it be affected. And hoping for some damage upgrades, HP wouldn't be the end of the world. Speed. That's the name of the game. Seriously, though, I would have preferred if this were not the name of the game. Pills, though. Balls of steel. Balls of steel. Very good. Speed up. I think we can afford both of those. And... Tears up. That was a super good bomb there. Four Spirit Hearts, two Speed Upgrades, and a Partridge in a Pear Tree. I'm feeling pretty solid about this now. Um, that's more than we would expect from any given floor to begin with. To get that in one second secret room feels amazing. And as you can see, our, our DPS now is starting to get a little bit out of control. We haven't even seen our item room on this floor. The shop is probably more likely to be irrelevant. But I think it's worth using a key. Nonetheless, I wanted to see if we had a Greed Fight. I would... 
Hey, not so good. I would really like to get Black Candle. Uh, that's one of my favorite shop items, but it uh, doesn't look like it's going to be too likely. We're actually really lucky to have uh, Spoonbender here and low shot speed. I had a feeling that might happen. Oh, ho, ho. we will take it. It's frightening, and I've, I've had a not-so-fantastic history with Ipecac recently. We're going to roll with it regardless, though. Is Are You a Wizard gone? No. Come on. I'll wait. That didn't land? Oh, now we're shooting straight. Okay. Alright. Uh, this should be incredible damage, so I'm super excited about that. We might actually be able to get Black Candle. Depending on how willing we are to blow up our donation machine. Answer? Not really that willing right now. Because of the fact that our damage is already so good, what are we hoping to gain, you know? Ooh, I don't mind that black heart. That is going to be almost enough money. We need one more cent to get Black Candle. That would be a huge get for us. I realize Ipecac does destroy some synergies, but I like it so much. I thought people really like Ipecac, so I don't feel like I'm breaking my run or anything like that. People love the explodey items that can hit you as well. What do we need now? Um, obviously, Guppy would be hilarious. We already have one Guppy item. The ability to fly would be huge. It always is, especially when you have the chance to hurt yourself. The ability to fly is like 12 HP upgrades packed into one single item. Back for that. Oh, you're gonna maybe reroll my run now? Mmm, rerolls all consumables on the ground. On the entire floor. Tears down. Well, I'd like to access this golden chest first then. Uh, I'd like to pick up one penny, then we'll reroll it all. We got one extra penny out of that, and oh, there's an eternal heart here. Get out of there, please. Tears up. I think we do want the eternal heart. Makes deals with the devil in the future easier. Plenty of bombs. Yeah, I mean, this worked, seemed to work out pretty nicely. I got no complaints. Gives a little bit of an extra range advantage there. Juicy Sack is lovely. Great item. Okay, so I'm... <laughs> I hesitate to say this, because you never know how those double key rooms are going to turn out, but uh, this is looking like a one run, and I did not get a chance to say that ever on our last run. What is this one? The Lovers? Okay. I, I never got a chance to say that it was a one run on our last run, so it feels good to just be back in, in standard Northern Lion territory. I don't think we suffer from these HP upgrades, at least not yet. Could you... There we go. Direct hit. Another speed upgrade. Get your speed upgrade. Grab a stick of juicy fruit. The case is gone. The case, the taste is gonna move you. Uh, we should buy a black candle if, we're, if we were in for the long haul here. It's amazing as well. You're gonna think I'm being very silly here. I'm not being intentionally silly. This run feels so fast based on the fact that the last run was so long. I'm like, man, we're 18 minutes in. We're already like sitting in a winning position. It's not that abnormal. Um, a 3 cent PhD, huh? Yeah, that doesn't seem like a bad trade to me. It's our other pill. Might be something good, but doesn't really matter. Let's just get rid of paralysis by using it. We'll be able to move again in a second here. No curses for the rest of the game. PhD. Yeah, I should have known that that was already bad. Okay, let's uh, let's head down to the next floor. This floor turned out interesting. Thank you to that crawl space that gave us Ipecac. Juicy sack, nothing to sneeze at either. Okay, hopefully we get some red chests in here. Um, potentially not worth it. I'm gonna take it. If we're going full explosion build here, and it certainly seems like we are, uh, I think there's something to be said for taking Bob's brain. Definitely a, a very integral part to any explosion-based build, I think. Man, our rate of fire is so fast, it's actually amazing for Ipecac, because we don't have to time our shots that well. Occasionally, we'll probably end up hitting ourselves as a result, but still. Uh, this is this is super good. So definitely, we'll come back. Oh, we, we can't really do anything with that anyway, but if we could, we would come back and do something with it. That's fine. Yeah, this is um, only like one item away from being unlosable. That item would be Pyro, which is going to be a, you know a little bit of a tall ask, but still. You think Secret Room could be here? Kind of struck me as a long shot. I mean, that's a little, seems like a little bit of a revisionist history. Oh, there you are. Hello. 
I'd, I'd rather not free you at the same time I think oh it largely did doesn't matter but does it no boss rush happening on this run let's just blow up the skulls I'd like to get a card is my reasoning here you're not gonna let me into that room oh I don't have any keys I'm like this is ridiculous why wouldn't you let me into that room all right brains a little fuzzy I think honestly this is gonna sound like I'm fucking with you but that Isaac run earlier today took a lot out of me. I've done the NLSS since I've had a chance to, you know, detox a little bit um, from from that decompress. Much better way to put it. But it really, I I went through. It, you know, it's like I'm gonna spoil the first Avengers film for you. You know, in the so be, don't I don't want to hear you talking about spoilers because I'm giving you ample freaking warning here. You know, in the first Avengers movie which made uh, like seven billion dollars at the box office so everybody in the world has seen it um, and Tony Stark goes through the wormhole to save New York City and he comes back and in Iron Man 3 he's like not quite the same he's got PTSD I'm not trying to equate it as if I have PTSD however I did lose the streak I might as well like have lost the streak because I've already emotionally felt the loss of the streak during the despair that I suffered uh, during times on that run so uh, really I was like I was pumped up. I nothing will compare to the thrill of actually beating that run for sure. I did also get the thrill of, of winning. I, did, you know, I was consciously trying to avoid saying the thrill of beating. I'll admit. However, um, I also I I experienced some of the agony of defeat. There's no question about it. And uh, I I needed I needed some time to just kind of like you know be 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 me, man. I need some time to relax. I think I've still got a little bit of that uh, like pseudo hangover going from that last run where I was basically just like all my adrenaline got out at that exact same moment. Uh, I went to fight Greed instead of going to the item room. I think that's still totally fine, but we will go back to our item room now. And I'm so thankful, so, so thank you, thank, thank you? So, so thankful that uh, this run here is looking really, really easy. Uh, I appreciate that a lot. This will take us to 90. Is this actually 98? Then we've only got to win random Isaac. Well, I'm sure glad I came back there. Is that cur is this 98? So if we beat random Isaac, we'll be at 100? That would be pretty amazing. Which basically, <laughs> I hate to say it, but means that if we just beat random, we got a real good chance. I don't know if I can actually fire these bombs in such a way that they get that pill out to me. Is it a good pill? Sure, yeah. At this point, I'm taking speed upgrade pills just for hilarity's sake. Ah, that's what I was looking for was the tears up. Most valuable pill for us right now. Even though we already have good tears, uh, more doesn't hurt. Oftentimes, this will be a second secret room. We could actually time it, right? That would have found it, and it did. Uh, okay, we can't do anything with that yet, but maybe if we find a dark bomb. You might be saying, oh, throw away the uh, Eternal Heart to play that temperance situation. Or, sorry, to use temperance on that uh, room full of red hearts. It's not, you're not wrong. It's just kind of like something I'm far too lazy to do for probably no practical gain. Burkano. Okay, what do we got? Like, I'm still a little bit, I don't want to say out of breath, but, you know, I'm still breathless from that run. Just like the, the core is saying, you know. Go on, go on, oh, come on, leave me breathless, tempt me, tease me, till I can't deny this love I'm feeling. You know, we all remember singing that song in, in public school. Um, that's the first time I've thought about Breathless by the Coors in probably, that's the first time i thought about the Coors in general, not in the context of Coors life, probably in like 12 years. And I'm not trying to pay any favors to Coors Light here. Nor am I trying to deny that, uh, you know, Coors Light has a place in the beer industry. Very sorry for that, my friend. I should have done this. No, it still doesn't quite work fast enough. But I'm still going to do it anyway. This has the potential to be a very good... Uh, very good shop for... A very good arcade for us. Now, I probably should not be as aggressive as I'm being here. But that's done now. Now if we get red hearts, we'll use them to play the blood banks. Then we can play the judgment and get our HP back. Or blow up the judgment and try to get a deal with the devil. We are one guppy item away from becoming guppy. Which is why I'm, like... I think you might have seen from that room why I was not too afraid to, uh... Play that into the spirit hearts. Because I was basically like, uh... We can't be hit. 
one spider touching a boss kills it, so I think we're probably in a pretty good situation here. I'm not gonna blow you up. I'm just gonna play you. I'd rather have some HP. Just to keep it simple, stupid, for now, you know? I don't want to be the guy who throws the winning run. Maybe one day I will be. This is, uh, this is what we want. Pretty good combination. I'm actually gonna go one deeper. I got a good feeling about this. You freaking paid out with the poop, so now I can't play that blood bank. Are you happy with yourself, Mysterious Candy? That's not so mysterious, mostly just kind of an asshole. Now I can't play it because I gotta blow it up! I can't get- there's no other way to kill the poop! Also, there's no words on it. What does this mean to play us out? Oh, that's so good. Okay, alright, this should give us a lot of plays if we want them, which I sort of do. I can't break the poop. I can't play this blood bank. It- oh, I can. I just gotta hit it from the right side. Uh, actually, you gotta hit it from the back to the melody of Roll It Slow. Now you gotta get up in it fast, but I'm a finish last because no matter how much of a thug you see, I still spit it like it's R&B. Come to the club with me. And when some loser come on, I hope he's still gonna be feeling me and be in love with me. That's what we want. I mean, I guess I gotta blow up the blood bank now. Very sorry to have to do this. Uh, blame the trinket that your asshole friends... <gasps> I broke it at the last possible second, but it didn't help. I forgot that we had uh, Ghost Baby there. Okay. Very musical run so far. Uh, I'll probably just blow you up. I'm still looking for magic mush. It's something that's on my list of things to do today. Pretty fly. Doesn't hurt. This is the first time we've had that, I think. Uh, and I'm gonna go to all the dead ends, apparently. Still a slow run, but honestly, I, I can't stress enough that I think it's to my advantage that this feels like a slow run, because I don't mind taking my time doing my due diligence on it, whereas on many runs. Ah, come on. On many runs, I'd be like, this is too slow. Instead, I find myself being like, man, we're going real fast right now. We're clipping along at quite a good rate. So I'm very, very happy with the way things are working out. We should be blowing up skulls with a chance to get uh, better cards. No question about it. Hmm, that didn't work quite according to plan. We can take the black cards. The fool card? No, not immediately very useful. Lover's card? Joker? Two of clubs? I mean, this is hurting me, but to what extent? Got 30 bombs now. Probably lover's card over fool card. Should be taking keys. Wasn't so long ago we didn't have enough keys to even, you know, make our way in the world today. Takes everything you got. There's our second secret room. Secret room we've already been to. Okay, that's why it didn't appear so clearly on our map. I can't believe this is only depths one. Easy. Easier. Yeah, we might as well take the mag. We, we don't have any rerolls, you know? If we don't have the ability to fly, the magnet is acceptable. That's what uh, Mommy always told me. She said, if you don't have any rerolls and you don't have the ability to fly, the magnet is acceptable. Because you have no choice in the matter. Which is not a really empowering lesson for a child to learn, but you get the idea. Okay, it's getting a little ridiculous with the greeds on this run and the last run, but. You know, you gotta play the cards you're dealt, I suppose. I'm pretty sure that's in the rules for most card games. Except cheat, where the goal is to cheat and not be caught. Should be looking for our second secret room. It's surprising. Yeah, we might as well take it. It's surprising how close you have to be on these Ipecac shots. Like, if they're off by even a little bit, it, it won't work. But the bombs, weirdly enough, seem to be, like, way more, uh, kind of, like, friendly with respect to that stuff. The spiders are so good here. I am a spider, he's probably gonna spy again. No deal with the devil, I was listening for the, the telltale like sound, you know what I'm talking about. You know when the garage door breaks? Uthero 1. No direction. I don't know just where I'm going, but I'm gonna try uh, for the kingdom if I can. Because it makes me feel like I'm a man. I'm gonna avoid skipping, or I'm gonna uh, avoid singing the rest of the song because it becomes quite clearly about heroin addiction soon after, but... Unless you could, maybe he's just like a, he's a mountain climber. When I stick that spike into my veins, honey, tell me things aren't quite the same. Mmm, doesn't really play. I should check this out to see if there's red chests in there, because becoming guppy would just be the, it would be the icing on top of the cake. You know what, golden chests are fine as well. We did get mom's key, right? So, like, like this, this looks like it's indicative of a mom's key have, get, you know what I mean. English verbs are tough. Sometimes people are like, hey, Northern Lion talks a lot about how hard English is. He speaks English pretty well. Do you know what his first language is? People are like, he's just an idiot. He only speaks English. But 
it's not false to say that English is still a pretty tough language, I feel. I speak a, you know, ask me how much Korean I speak. Northern line, how much Korean do you speak? Uh, Cholgum. That's a little bit. Teach you some other Korean words you might want to know. Uh, Shilahamnida, that's excuse me. Kamsahamnida, of course, is uh, thank you. Anyong Haseo is hello. Um, your name here, Imnida, is like, I am my name. Thank you for the spirit hearts. This thank you for the spirit hearts is not in Korean. Sege Mekju Juseo Pojong Bali Bali Chugule? That's four beers, please. To go. Hurry up, do you want to die? I never used that one myself, but if you find yourself in uh, perhaps a alcohol inebriated situation with the mafia, that might be something you want to do. You like you want some extra beers, but you also don't want to stick around too long, because uh seems like things are going south. Um Buchanim is Buddha. I got that one all the time because I'm bald. So, I mean, you could, just with those words, you could, uh, come up with a pretty nice little working dictionary that'll probably get you through your vacation. You wanna know coffee? This is a copy. Computer? Computer. Those, those ones are pretty easy. You want, maybe you don't like drip coffee? You wanna have an Americano? That's Americano. Easy enough. You want a pizza? Pizza. This is all true, by the way. I'm not, not fucking with you. There's a lot of words that are taken from uh, from English, which makes it pretty easy to learn. You find out as an English speaker that a lot of the world, and you, you maybe you feel bad about it, or maybe you think it's awesome, but a lot of the world is really like, really nice to you. Like they're like, hey, come on over. We made you know a third of our language similar to yours. I mean, I, I know that's not linguistically how it happens. I'm just saying, the world is very accommodating when you speak English, which is not me bragging, and actually you feel bad about it most of the time. Like, every time I'm in a foreign country, and I, I speak English, like, as a, a clear tourist, and, like, ask locals for something, I want to preface it by being like, I'm sorry, I'm a piece of shit, I should have learned your language, oh my god, we all think it's so amazing that you guys speak so many languages and we only speak English, but we never actually do anything about it, because we're all talk, you know, most people anyway. Um, but yeah, I've, I've never had a problem. One time, I was in Stockholm for a Paradox event. And I didn't know where the event was, so I was like, hey dog, where's like, well, I didn't say hey dog, but I found a guy in the street and I was like, where's this like museum thing? And he's like, you're standing right in front of it. So that was like, that was a great moment for me personally. Hopefully he thought I was not from Canada. I don't want to reflect poorly on my own nation, or any nation for that matter, but if I have to reflect poorly on any nation, I hope it's not my own. Which, ironically, just by saying that, reflects more poorly on my own nation. And if you're gonna tell me that's not ironic, well, you know, I come from the land of Lannis Morissette, so I'm a master at irony. Don't make me re-roll my run, it's too good. I would have re-rolled it in a heartbeat, obviously, but I'm glad they didn't make me. Mm, not a very smart idea on my part there, Wheel of Fortune. I'd rather take Wheel of Fortune than the Lovers. We're, let's be honest, we're set. Like, we don't need, uh, we don't need that Lovers card. Wheel of Fortune, by blowing it up, we would probably get almost as much HP as we'd get from the Lovers. I don't really want to play this blood bank. I'd rather just blow it up. Not just for time reasons, but also because, you know, we, we could fuck ourselves a little bit with it. It's one of the few ways remaining that we could completely screw up the whole run. We did just pick up Magic Mush, so that's an awesome damage upgrade for us, obviously. This is uh, not our not our boss fight, which is not a surprise. Boss fight's got to be probably after that big room down there. It's going to be a long run for having so much damage, but I'm just thankful that it's such an easy run. And, I, you know, it's probably bad form as an entertainer to be like, don't watch this, it's easy. But, you know, I, I, I'd prefer to be honest with you guys. This is an easy run. We deserve an easy run after the last one. The last one was a nightmare. I will never take Dr. Fetus again. That's the great thing about that run. We learned something very useful. I'm never going to take Dr. Fetus again. Um, unless it, I have to, like, unless it's on a reroll or something like that, but... I don't like to swear off items. There's only a couple items I've sworn off in my whole, uh, Rebirth career. I never knowingly take Isaac's Heart, because it's a piece of shit. Unless I have Blood Rites, but that has very, very rarely happened. Um, and I never take... I, I oftentimes choose not to take Strange Attractor, due to deleterious synergies. And I oftentimes choose now, or will choose now, not to take Dr. Fetus. And you know what? That's going to lead to me not taking Epic Fetus a lot of the time. Because I'm going to be like, oh, is this, which one is it? Which one is it? I don't know. One of them's got a top hat, one of them doesn't. The one that doesn't is Dr. Fetus. But I'll still second guess myself, especially when the stakes are high. 
Easy fight. Uh, it took way more damage than I should have. Not very concerned about our HP, though. Because we have Bloody Penny. Wheel of Fortune. Unlimited bombs. Up in the top. Okay. We can make this happen. I mean, this should be an easy win if this gets thrown. I, I'll admit, you know, right now I'm enjoying my... Um, I'm enjoying my ability to take damage and not feel completely fucked over by it. So I'm probably playing a little bit more poorly than you would uh, like to see, but it's... I'm, just, I'm enjoying it right now. You know, it's like when you're a... You ever see that video? Or it's not a video, but it's like an imager album of The Rock. It's like after he finished eating super well and, and working out all the time for Fast and the Furious and, um, and Hercules, I think. It was like, here's The Rock's cheat meal after a year and a half of not eating any carbohydrates. And it's seriously like 12 pizzas and like 48 beers. That's pretty much what this run feels like to me right now. Is like, I just finished doing the hardest shit of my life. I'm going to reward myself. You know what my way to reward myself is right now? I'm going to allow myself to take some damage. If we end up losing on this run, I'm going to shit my pants. I may actually shit my pants. That's the bargaining stage. If I shit my pants, will you let me have a win? It's probably not likely to happen, but... No, you gotta give me one here. Nothing? Nothing? No from all four? Let me try this. Oh, eternal heart. Pills. Pills are good, though. We got balls of steel. Yeah. Pretty fly. Uh, we can't take any more. We'll take it. Two tiers upgrade. Still mind if I do. It's not like these Ipecac shots can come back to hit me after they're already in the air, so I'm not gonna sweat it too much. I don't know. We might have been close to the maximum rate of fire anyway. That was very fast. This is great. Ooh, okay. So we're gonna be back. It's not over yet. It's not quite over yet. But it's looking great. We're gonna be back with a random run next. Random run. Is it for win 98 or 99? If it's for 99, oh my god, man. I could actually get to that 100 streak tonight and sleep easy tonight. I had a dream last night that I lost the streak. And what was fucked up, and this is true, I swear to you, but um, what was fucked up about it is that it wasn't even like Isaac. Like, it was the Binding of Isaac, but you played it like Spelunky, like an action platformer. It was fucked up, and I was like actually devastated that I lost the streak, which truly taught, it how much, taught me, I should say, how much it meant to me. And then I had that terrible run earlier today where I was like, oh, fuck, am I actually going to lose it? Did the dream come true? Obviously, this is not like your ideal payout on the, uh, on the chest, but it's not awful. I mean, Stigmata's okay. Book of Revelations gave us an extra spirit heart. Not sure if we should be expecting more chests or what. Are you, like, not dead? Something about that doesn't seem right, because I, I feel like I'm doing a lot of damage. Did you see my Isaac fight? Like, maybe you should go back and watch my Isaac fight before you give me this horse hockey. I appreciate the spirit heart, at least. Maybe we should be rolling Book of Revelations instead of Book of Secrets. It's, it's one of those things that's probably largely going to be irrelevant. But it, it bears mentioning. As it possibly being the right course of action. World card. World card. Bad gas. Bad gas doesn't have a cool catchphrase associated with it because it's just not usually as useful. You got an item for me? Sometimes you got an item for me. Okay. What about that time? All right, I'll tell you what. We'll use one of our many bombs. Hmm. Many bombs. The connoisseur, I think, of uh, things that can be said like Justin Timberlake in order to become a catchphrase. Like when I played Dirty Bomb. Dirty Bomb. Basically, anything with bomb attached to it seems to work pretty well. Annie Bomb. Crematorium Bomb. It sort of works. Give it a try for yourself. Tuberculosis Bomb. And getting there. Number one. It, honestly, I think our rate of fire is at its cap, so there's only going to be uh, so many items that can help us get past that. Like, uh, Anti-Grav, I think, allows us to break the tier cap so we can go a little higher. It would also allow us to probably not take so much dumb damage because I could choose when to release the shots. As long as I had a little bit more uh, care in when I fired them, I would probably be fine. But if I had more care in when I fired them, I wouldn't need to pick up Anti-Grav. You know? It's a little bit of a, a catch-69, as we like to call it here. Keep myself in a safe-ish place here. It really doesn't matter if we take uh, red heart damage because we have so many red hearts for us to draw upon. I'm very disappointed that we have not become guppy recently either. I gotta 
call that out. You know, we have not had too many successful guppy transformations recently. Don't jump. Jumping is illegal now. Look, I don't make the rules, all right? If you don't like it, you should have voted. Yeah, that hurts. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to get very, very slightly anxious, but it's actually, it's like controlled anxiety. It's like when you go on a roller coaster, or, you know, most people go on a roller coaster, and they're like, oh, this is exciting, but also a little scary, but it's like, we're not gonna die. That doesn't happen very often. So, that's how I feel right now. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to be fine. But I should really stop taking like 12 hits in the same room. That's probably for the best. We'll keep our invincibility chance alive here. Um, Book of Revelations doesn't do shit for us anymore, so let's just not have a room that was that tough again. Yeah, this room should be substantially easier. To be fair, you know, if you're gonna take a lot of damage on a room, it makes sense for it to be a double cage room, which I actually think is probably like the hardest room at this point in the game. Let's just finish it off. I think we should be fine here. Get a quick bad gas uh, little play in there. Spiders are doing their part. Why is it easier to beat Blue Baby than it is to beat Double Cage? Like that, there's not very many runs that fall into that category, but this is definitely one of them. Range is just a little bit too low, but we're still gonna get in here easily. I was actually a little worried. I was like, oh, can we get through Blue Baby without taking five hits? Yeah, it seems like that's gonna be relatively likely, Bob. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. That was win 97, so I got a little ahead of myself. Next one will be 98 as a random. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.